Hello, uh, in this tutorial I want to show you how to, how just using iOS stream and Windows that edge, uh, how can you like really quickly refresh your board in your console game. So I'm using uh, Visual Studio 2015 and I think you could use like any any other compiler it's it doesn't really matter so just let's go so we have to include io stream and we have to include window <sighs> whoops windows edge um think that na space okay so I think at the beginning I will just create uh, the most basic, uh, I don't know, I, I wouldn't even call this a game, but uh, a very a very little project that will show that it is working and I think basic, when you will look at this project you will know how it works and how could you implement it to your own game. Okay, so first we'll cre create a class called game where will be our all functions so private or maybe first public and then private it doesn't really matter okay so first we will create our car arise so there will, there will be a board and I think it will be 50 by 50 it will be okay but we will also need another board and it will be buffer and would be also 50 by 50 and we'll also need some player character and um, player x player y so now in public we will need to have our init function uh, so now player would be maybe the a character player x would be 25 uh, and player y would be also 25, I think it's, it's okay. Why is it not? Okay. Okay, my my fault. I didn't say that. And now, very important thing uh, when you are working with boards, um, if you want to draw them properly, you have to before you are doing anything on them, you have to actually fill that with some empty spaces, with empty characters or just with something, because otherwise there are some errors and we don't really want that. Okay, so <clears throat> we create for, whoops ent y is equals to zero, y is smaller than 50, y plus plus, another for x zero, x smaller than 50, x plus plus, and now, wh whoops, not word, it's board, x, y is equals to buffer, x, y, and is equals to like empty. Okay, so for the init function, I think it's okay. So now, oh, and we need to have our main loop. Great, so here there will be a bool called loop and it's equals to true. And while loop equals true, there will be everything going on. So in private, uh, we will have a function called um selective draw and we will have our void update buffer and it is really important actually it is very important okay so now i think at the beginning Oh, and could I use just selective draw here to draw the whole board or I cannot do that? 
here will be update buffer and then selective draw again so actually actually if that would work then probably or no 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 it it won't work so we have to draw all so we need another function and I forgot that sorry now I'm using OpenGL so <laughs> I'm starting to use OpenGL when I have a free time to program and I don't really have a free time I have like matura exams in this year and I've got extended math chemistry biology and English so it's a lot to learn and I really have no time to live Okay, so now in draw all, actually I would copy that, I'm very lazy. So here we would use printf um, c and uh, it would be, it was bored? Yeah, it was bored. <laughs> XY. Uh, so why I'm using printf and not c out? I mean, I could use C out, it also would work, but uh, I was doing some tests and it showed that printf is actually a tiny little bit faster than C out, so it would be better. I mean, faster is always better. Okay, maybe not always, but but in but you know what I mean. And and printf uh, reverse slash and I don't know how it's called, but I would call it just reverse slash. Oh, and another thing to mention, uh, if you would use C out reverse slash n, just uh, why you should use uh, why you should use uh, this thing and not uh, end line. Uh, I was also doing some tests and it showed that end line is actually a few times few times slower then reverse slash n. Um, it's not always the case, but it's a few times slower. So actually we'll use, we'll use just reverse slash n. And the printf is also faster. So yeah, it would be the Bugatti of our programming code using these two libraries. Okay, so now uh, selective draw because I think it's the most important thing and that's why you come here. Uh, okay, so let's copy this one more time. Without this one, we don't like this one. And and uh, we will it will stay, but but uh, we have to create an if and if board x y is not equal to buffer x y we will update this part so how it works uh, that means that we have our board with this uh, which is uh, the thing with that we will draw next and there is a buffer, which is the previous frame, then the board. So if there is any difference between the previous frame and the next frame, then we will change only this part and everything that is the same will just stay the same. So if you have like a lot of objects in your scene, then it would get a bit laggy. I mean, uh, it would be still, still faster a bit than the system CLS and there will be no flickering, but it will just get slower. And if you have, I don't know, a snake game or Pac-Man or something like that, then it would be like a whole lot faster. So you should also know that. Because we're just updating this thing that is changed. Okay, so how are we gonna do that? So we will we will use the handle to actually move the cursor to the position where we gonna uh, change this, that that 
character. Uh, position, okay, and now... Oh, 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 okay. And H out is equals to get std handle and it would be std output handle. Great. And now position x is equal to x and position y is equals to y. Uh, yeah, that's, that's very important. And now we have to set console cursor position to edge out position and actually that's all. I think now it's actually, oh no, I forgot about updating the buffer. So it's not entirely done, but it's pretty much done. So now how we update buffer, we just do it just like that. And actually we are ready, but it just won't show anything because we don't have anything. So, okay, so our world x, why I'm using world, board x, y is equals, <gasps> no, 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 player, x and player y is equals to player and uh, it it would work now no why is it not working i oh okay okay i'm stupid uh <laughs> i have to call my our functions. Okay, so game G, G, init, and G main loop. Okay, and yeah, and actually it's all, but uh, to show that is that it is working, we could do void move, and here I would. I would need to use actually conio conio that edge, but in order to this in order this to work, you don't have to use conio. It's just to move our player on the board. So her player. Whoops. Key <laughs> pressed, and now if keyboard was hit, our key pressed is equals to get and else key pressed is equals to nothing. And because I'm very lazy, if key pressed does not equal to zero, then our what? God damn it! X. Our actual player X plus one. Player Y equals to player board. Player X player Y equals to nothing, and player X plus plus. Great. Now it should work. Or oh, no, it, it wouldn't work. <laughs> we need to call our move function in loop and now it should work just and so why is it not working? You nutty motherfucker. I cleared it. I have cleared it. So now there is a problem like always. So why is it like that? Why is it like that? I have no idea.
It should work. You son of the bi- So actually, I don't fucking know where the problem is. It should work. I mean, if I give here another character, it just works fine. Like, <laughs> great. And if there is empty, it just don't work. And it should work, so... I don't know, maybe that's a compiler mistake, or I did something I just don't see. But it should work, and I can show you on first thing, maybe a Pac-Man. So it was made... So here you can see that it actually works quite well. So this game I've created in my third day of programming. I mean, it was something like I well, I learned I've learned like some really basics, uh, like two two three years ago. Then I did really nothing, and I didn't write, and I didn't wrote any game, and. And you know, I had just no no time for programming for two years, and I completely forgot anything. And then after those three, after those two three years, I just had nothing else to do. Oh, and this game is also working with on this using this method. So I really have no idea what's wrong. I will. I will just upload maybe the code, the working code on some kind of GitHub or uh, on my Google Drive, so you will you will be able to just copy and paste if you want. Um, so yeah, so after <clears throat> those two years, I just had nothing else to do, and I thought like, okay, so maybe I will write some game because I had no just an old laptop with the C++ compiler and nothing else and I was on, on some kind of village and I have really nothing else to do the weather was really really terrible so I just started to write a game and the first game I wrote was some kind of space invaders and actually I've made out in one day the next day I created some some kind of RPG, I mean, it was just the basic engine of an RPG and it was so laggy and stupid that I just abandoned this project. And then I created my Pac-Man game and it was also one day of working, like from maybe 9am to... 12 p.m. <laughs> uh, of constant work and it, it was from the idea to the final product so I don't know if it's if that's fast if that's slow I mean for a third day of programming it's I think it's okay it's reasonably okay but you can just think oh and so actually if you don't understand anything if it if you don't, if you don't understand anything that I wrote that I've said, then you can just ask in comments, and I will be glad to help you to explain that. So, yeah, with any problems, any misunderstandings, just write it, and I think that's all. So, thanks for watching, and bye.